Well, hello. Before I start with like all the corny, like lovely things, I would like two things to say. Miss Christina, I would like my penis recoiled in fear. <laughs> but then I, then I remember I was just like, um, yeah, you don't play for that team, so it was all. It, 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 it came out. It, it came out again, and it, it's like it's good. We're good. We're good. And the second one is the punch is really, really good. So, so I had to write it down because I'm a little bit of a scatterbrain. My brain goes everywhere whenever I start talking. I don't know if you people notice. So, um, there's a re there's a reason behind the poem. That's the reason why I'll tell the little story real quick of why the reason the poem was written. And like I said, I do not mean to sound sappy or sentimental, or worse, naive about love. Like most of us, love had sucked, and it was never too kind. It was never too kind to me. It was always cynical and somewhat, somewhat cruel. Uh, when I was fifteen, when I was almost fifteen, I thought I fell in love for the first time, and I thought that was that was it. I thought nothing will ever change. That that was what what was gonna be my life forever with that person. So uh, obviously, destiny decided otherwise. Um, he manipulated everything around me and made my mom decided to move to the US. So I left everything behind. Um, everything was taken without like justification. It was just my mother's idea of coming to the US. And so I was depressed, very depressed. Everything sucked. And then I met some other frogs on the way. And then I found one that I thought I was like, wow, I was like, this one, this one might be a keeper. Um, he was pretty good looking. He looked like Enrique Iglesias, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so like I said, I thought that was it. I thought he was everything, but something was missing. And pretty much, um, I was not seeking love. I thought I had it, um, even though something, w so, something was missing, but I still knew that that was, that was pretty good. Then, pretty much um, one night, um, I was not looking for you, but you happened. Um, like I said, like the song says, um, before I met you, uh, I wasn't terribly lucky. Every Prince Charming lost charm after 12. So I remember that night after 10 hours of sitting in that pond and having that, um, this is a little kind of like an inside thing but having a Japanese beat ma beast master like <laughs> messing with the leeches back and forth and um, I knew that you were my destiny. So pretty much this poem was written for, for Leon, but it's dedicated for everybody else that has ever been in love. And even if you haven't, um, it happens. You don't have to look for it. It just, it's always there. So remember, you can be alone, but don't be lonely because that's, that's not cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I'll be your cipher for tonight. <laughs> my st my stocking is not as great, but. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love myself too. All right, so here goes. Something sacrificial lingers in the air. Vibrating with no thought, I can still feel your touch, your kiss. The sight of the weight of a thousand whispers moan in the dark. The, the silk trail left by your tongue still runs up my leg. Across my navel, deeper and deeper. You have the finger of a pianist. You play me like a forgotten concerto. Losing yourself to the music, losing yourself in me. Your touch against my skin is like a butterfly, light, airy, silk. Hands buried in hair, clutching, pulling, breathing. Agony and ecstasy and a million guilty pleasures in between. I want you to hurt me. I want you to kill me over and over. The crush of your lips on mine, your skill under my fingernails, the soft moan under my bread, all for you. Bite down, draw blood, hurt me like you mean it. A thousand whisper moans, your hot bread on my neck, a thousand little deaths. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>